Hi, my name is Molly Varain and I work with The Big Garden. Today is the first of an eight-part series called Grow Your Own. That is a sustainable agriculture program that is taught with children, youth, and adults. Today we're going to be talking about soil. Why it's important to take care of our soil, what are the components of soil, and how to keep our soil healthy. So an interesting fact about soil is that in a thimble of soil, about one gram of weight, you can expect to find 100 million to 1 billion bacteria, several yards to several miles of fungi, depending on if you have agricultural or forest soil, just loads of fungi, and several thousand protozoa, up to several hundred thousand in forest soils. So they are jam-packed full of living organisms. Um, it is really important for us to take care of our soil, um, nurture it, help it continue to improve, and make sure that you're trying to prevent soil erosion in the best way you can. Um, if you have a garden, one way to prevent soil erosion is to put mulch on. That will keep the soil from washing away during a heavy storm. Um, so think about your soil next time that you're planting your vegetables and think of ways that you can improve it and help build the living organisms. So now I'd like to do an activity on discovering water retention for different types of soils. So here we have the sand, we have the silt loam, clay soil, potting soil, garden soil, and compost. We're gonna see which soil types retain the most moisture and which ones do not. So the materials that you need, here I have a uh, measuring cup, I have a colander, a uh, coffee filters, and then a watering can. Very quickly, the water's draining through. And just like that, it's gone. So the water drained through very quickly. The sand is wet to the touch. So I would say sand is the most porous of all the types. I added about the same amount of water as I did with the sand. Okay, as you can see, no water is coming out right now. It's essentially sitting inside of the colander and not moving. And that's because clay particles bind very heavily with water molecules and they like to stick together. So that's what they're doing. It's just the water is staying right inside of the colander. It's very slowly coming through. You can see though, there's still a lot of water inside and it's starting to form like a dough. So what I'm observing right now is that it's still staying in the colander but it's not acting the same way the clay was where it was just not moving. It's starting to filter through. As you can see, it's dripping now down below. So it is porous, not as porous as sand, but more porous than clay. So when you stick your finger through and kind of touch it, it feels like very smooth mud. So there's still water inside the colander right now. So it didn't, it's not filtering as quickly as sand. There's still water inside, but it also is seeping through, through the bottom. So I would say 
but this is the best of both worlds, like I had said before. It holds water, but it also doesn't retain water the same way clay does. Okay, immediately water's pouring through. You can see immediately water's coming through. It's pretty clean too, so that means that not a lot of soil came with that water. As you can see then here, the potting mix is nice and moist, but it's also very porous. That water came through very quickly, very similar to the sand, but there's no sand inside here. It's because there's these little white balls called perlite, which are styrofoam, and that helps the soil become very porous and fluffy. But the sphagnum peat moss and the bark mulch help hold the moisture. So it is really the best of both worlds. Okay, look at that. Immediately, immediately it's pouring through. Okay, this is very interesting. So if you look inside, this compost is pretty dry. As I kind of swish my finger through, as I get down lower, it's, it's wetter. But the compost on top was pretty dry. Huh. So, this is very porous. This moved through very quickly. Let's try it again. Let's try a little bit more and see what happens. Okay. Again. Can you see it? It's moving through quite quickly. This time, there's a little bit more water in the colander. So what I'm guessing is that the first time the compost was pretty dry, and so the water ran right through because it was hydrophobic. But the second time, as it moistened, it's now holding the water a little bit easier the second time. So you can see there's more water now being still inside the colander. And now the it's slowing down. It's not filtering as quickly. So what's happening now is that it's starting to saturate with water and starting to hold the water more to the particles of the compost and not filtering as much. So now it's hydrophilic. And see how the water is staying now inside the colander and very little is filtering out. So that is compost. You want to add compost to your garden because you'll get these kinds of results. You'll have the porous nature where it will drain through, but also the hydrophilic nature where it will retain moisture for the roots of your plants. Now everybody's soil is a little different, so you may get different results than I do. I live in southern Kansas City, so we have a lot of clay in our soil, but you may have different results. Oh, I see some insects. <laughs> There's all kinds of life right now. I can see in the soil, that's so neat. I have some rocks, I have some critters, some pieces of straw. Okay, immediately you can see water's draining through quite quickly. The texture is still pretty crumbly. It's definitely different than the silt loam where it felt like a smooth mud. This does not feel like that. This is more of a crumbly texture, but a lot of water did pour through, so it's, it's quite porous, and the soil is nice and moist. So I think that's pretty great results. We have some good soil here. <laughs> feel free to try this at home. 
see what your soil is like at home. Find out how porous it is by doing this little experiment to see how much water will run through and how quickly it runs through. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Bye.